So today's lesson is on solving two-step equations. What we've seen so far uh, have only been uh, simpler one-step equations. And what is meant by one step is that there's only one operation that you need to do in order to figure out the value of your variable. Uh, so for example, if I had 2x equals 8, well, all I, I need to do is by, to get x alone is to divide out uh, the 2 on each side, and that will get me my solution. So x will be equal to 4. There's only one step there. Uh, another example would be if I had, um, let me see, if I had y plus 3 equals 10. Well, I know that in order to isolate the y, I need to take away the y on the opposite side. Right? And so, uh, and we've done many examples like this. And so the sign changes when I bring it to the other side of the equation. So that really only involved one operation. And y was equal to 7. So what we've been doing ha have been only one step equations. But what we're going to be seeing today is going to be uh, involved two steps to solve. So for example, what you might see is something that looks like this. So 2a plus 5 is equal to, uh, let's say, 11. And in order to get my variable by itself, I'm going to need to do a couple of things first. Now, some uh, textbooks or, or math teachers will suggest this method. And, and it works, um, but I, I, th I think of it as a different way. So let me, let's talk about that first. So some will say, well, perform bed math backwards. I would say that as a general rule, that might work. Um, but I think that there's an easier strategy. And for me, it is, you know, you want to get rid of the parts of the equation farthest from your variable, but on the same side of the equal sign first. Okay, so what I mean by that is I'm going to deal, first need, need to locate my variable. So I'm going to locate my variable first. Here it is. And then I'm going to deal with whatever is farthest away from it, but on the same side of the equal sign, right? So to me, that means dealing with this 5 first. So I'm going to go through a series of examples that will help you to sort out how to manage questions like this. Okay, so uh, here's an example of a question that you might see. I'm just going to bring this back up. Um, and so let's try to go about it systematically. So first I take a look. I have 2x plus 1 equals 9. So I want to locate my variable and then decide for myself, well, which part of this equation uh, needs to go, right? What is farthest away from my variable x, but on the same side of the equal sign? So I see that this plus 1 here is on the same side, but a little bit further away from my variable. I'm going to deal with it first. Since I'm adding 1 to 2x, I'm going to undo that by subtracting it on the other side. And now I'm going to clean that up. So I have 2x equals 9. The 9 was there first after the equal sign. And then I'm going to put the minus 1. So the 1 now becomes negative. Cleaning it up further, I end up with 2x equals 8. So now I want to look, well, what operation is, uh, is, uh, is going on with x and the 2? It's multiplication. So of course, the opposite operation to multiplication is division. So I'm going to divide out the 2. Whatever I do to one side, I'm going to do to the other side of that equation. That allows me to cancel out those 2's. 2 divided by 2 leaves me with 1x. And simply, uh, I'm going to write that as x. And 8 divided by 2 leaves me with 4. And now I have a complete solution. Now, one thing that you can always do with any of your math equations is to perform a check. I'm going to demonstrate how to do a check for this example only. Uh, keep in mind, it's a great way for you to verify your answers, see if you've made a mistake along the way, particularly on tests or quizzes. So what you do is you take the original form of the question. It's 2x plus 1 equals 9. And I know for this equation that if my answer uh, is correct, this x, if, if x is actually 4, 
then when I substitute it into the equation, my left side should equal my right side. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So where I see x in the, four, in the equation, the original equation, I'm going to put in 4 instead. So now working this out, the 2x plus the 4 is going to, uh, sorry, 2 times 4 is going to give me 8, plus 1 equals 9. I get 9 equals 9. My left side is equal to my right side. That's how I know that my x equals 4, and that's a correct solution. Let's move on to the next example. Of course, I'd like you to pause the video so that for the next example so that you can try out the question yourself um, and then move on to see the solution after you've tried it just to verify that you're doing it correctly. All right, so in this case, I have my variable term and it's the 7y. So there's my variable. So this question is telling me that I'm going to move this 3 over to the other side. And since the sign before the 3, not after the 3, but before, is positive, that tells me that three, the 3 is positive on the left side. So that when I move it over to the right side, it will become negative. So remember, the 10 was there first. It doesn't get changed at all. But I'm going to take away 3 from it. Now remember over here that, you know, the 3 or the 7y was positive. So even though it says plus 7y, I'm just going to write 7y out. I'm going to clean this up. And now to get the y by itself, I'm going to divide out the 7 and divide out by 7 on the other side. And that will give me an answer that of y equals 1. I hope you were able to get that answer. If not, maybe take a look at the video, the first video again, or come in for some extra help. Okay, let's take a look at one more example. Uh, so in this e equation, um, oops, let me go back to slide four. In this example, um, we see that it looks like A doesn't have a coefficient. So I always say that when you just have a variable by itself, um, it, it, and there's no coefficient indicated, that really means that there's an unspoken of or understood coefficient of one. Okay, let's see how this plays out. So my variable here is a, of course, and uh, that means I need to move this 6 to the other side. And when I do that, it becomes negative, but I'm left with negative 1a. This negative right here has nothing to do with the negative that I'm attaching to the 6 on the other side of the equation. So, um, yeah, there, you know, so the negative 1 beside my a is still there, and I don't want to forget about it. Um, right, so, so far, where am I? Well, I still haven't isolated a because it has, still has that negative 1 beside it. So I'm going to divide by negative 1 on each side and then simplify. So a is equal to 4 divided by negative 1 gives me negative 1. So, you know, if the integers have been an issue for you in the past, I would highly suggest that you do a check or you go ahead and you uh, use your calculator to verify your solution. Uh, all right. So I'm going to stop my video here and, um, and post this so that uh, hopefully you can um, try some questions on on